Bad Bunny now battling a fan who posted videos he shot at a recent concert. The Grammy winning reggaeton star demanding the videos be taken down. But the fan is fighting back. Rena Roy is here with that story. Hey, Rena. Hey, Gio. Good morning to you. Look, taking a video at a concert and posting it online is nothing new, right? Most of us do it. But Bad Bunny says this content creator crossed the line. And now some are wondering how far is too far when going to see live performances? This morning, superstar Bad Bunny is fighting back in a rare move, suing a content creator for sharing multiple videos online from a recent performance. The defendant accused of posting 10 full songs on YouTube from the launch of the rapper's Most Wanted tour in Salt Lake City, showing live performances of mega hits like Efecto and No Me Quiero Casar. In a federal lawsuit, Bad Bunny's attorneys calling the clips bootlegs, arguing they lure viewers and advertisers away from Bad Bunny's authorized videos. The legal battle comes right after clips like these took over the internet. Millions posting videos from Beyonce and Taylor Swift concerts. So most artists have no problem with these small snippets of their performances and music being shared. It's when you take a huge portion and you use it for commercial purposes, like appears to be the case with this lawsuit, that it becomes incorrect and infringing. According to court documents, Bad Bunny's team saying they were forced to take legal action after the owner of the account, Eric Garone, refused to remove the videos even after the rapper's reps filed a takedown notice with YouTube. Garone arguing legitimate use of the content, saying the show was carefully captured without alterations or post-production. And telling ABC in a statement there was never intention to harm anyone one, claiming he obtained no financial gain. In the end, his account taken down by YouTube after multiple third party claims of copyright infringement. An artist went to enforce his rights, as happens all the time. And the difference here is that the user actually refused to comply, refused to take the music down and pushed for a lawsuit. That's what makes it rare. I don't think it's going to turn into this big ordeal where now you can't film anything because you have to remember that a lot of the small clips that are spread all over social media are actually great marketing for the artist. And look, this isn't the first time Bad Bunny has pushed back in defense of his music. Last year, he spoke out against a song that went viral on TikTok that sounded just like him, but it was actually a fake using artificial intelligence. And guys, the lawyer we spoke with describing this time as the wild, wild west when it comes to protecting intellectual property. All right. Interesting. Thank you so much, Rena.